and then your 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 company and how did you manage your schedule and and that the responsibilities for both of those okay so uh there was my side gigs the business and then kids and you know being a wife <laughs> <laughs> yeah so most of my time i try my best to uh, segment certain amounts of time for certain things, especially if I'm working a full-time job with a uh, top towel or full-time gig, I'm then working in spurts like uh, at noon to kind of catch up on some of the administ administrative stuff within Dream and Color. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of my work was at, at night. So in the AM hours as well. So mm -hmm. it was, <laughs> I wasn't really getting a ton of sleep. Let's just say that, but it was, it was good. It worked out. Yeah. And then how did that then transition to to just being full time in uh, Dream and Color? Was it just the, um, you know, the opportunities that your company ar arose, built up high enough or, or what happened with that? OK, so. What happened was that I got to be the top three percent of designers, so you get a little bit of experience, you get to wear these badges because you've earned them. Mm -hmm. um, and I am still a designer, a UI UX designer at heart. I will never stop designing. Mm -hmm. So I still do take on gigs with big clients and clients that say that they want to work with me. And I also still manage Dream and Color on the side. So what it really is about is just getting people that you can trust to help. And this is something that I had, it took me a long time to learn. It's like, okay. help is okay. <laughs> <laughs> Get, make sure that you find people who want to help and who's passionate about helping you in your vision. Um, and then make sure you compensate them well enough. Um, and also just be a leader that can help things kind of move along smoothly mm -hmm. um, and put processes in place. And those were some of the ingredients that I used to be able to slowly but surely choose what projects that I want to work on mm -hmm. and work within my business to mm -hmm. help push things forward. Okay. So as, again, as, as the top 3% of the UI UX designer, what does, so what does good UI and UX design mean to you and how do you approach it? Oh gosh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> UI UX design, good UI UX design means it means really like taking the time to experience what it is to be a bad designer at first. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not being too, don't be overconfident. And uh, what it meant to me is also learning how to listen and not mm -hmm. speak out of turn. I was not a great listener. And in order to be good at anything, you got to be able to listen. And I remember uh, my husband coming into me, coming to me and telling me like, can you let the man finish a sentence <laughs> before you jump in with your ideas? And me realizing that turned, turned my abilities to create and to be quick and to be more efficient in my process if I just heard everything. And so that was, that's one of the things that uh, definitely helps and attributes to that. Yeah. So also with that, what are, are there, well, I'm trying to think of how to, how to word this better. I, I'm curious about just trends in design because there are often times where, you know, there's like certain logos, mm -hmm. I start noticing more than others or just like certain colors or certain looks. How do you, when you approach designs, how, how much do you pay attention to like, what's the cool trendy thing right now versus what you think the brand and the company should really pay attention to. Mm. So for me, it, it comes down to product design, B2, B2B SaaS products. Mm -hmm. um, what it really comes down to is understanding the industry. I've worked outside of healthcare and I've worked inside of healthcare. Um, some of the trends will vary. Okay. Uh, like say for data visualization, um, analysts want a dark theme. Dark themes optimize their process. It saves, you know, it prevents eye strain and analysis paralysis. Mm -hmm. uh, while in healthcare, they like a clean look. They like the sterile, 
appearance, pastels, and lighter tones. Um, these trends are trends that are very specific to the industry. Okay. Um, and so basically you have to be able to navigate the industry a little bit to kind of understand what the trends are. But um, for the most part, they all need to be clean, easy to view, easy to understand, um, but also be able to get the user to be to explore the actual uh, program or solution mm -hmm. that we're building. And uh, design does not come without the collaboration with development. So a lot of time designers or creatives tend to work in these silos. Um, so it's working in tandem to understand what the trends are and what the technical abilities of those trends are. Hmm. Okay, interesting. So what's what's the future for Dream in Color? Are, are you there, especially, actually let's also say this too, like how has your business changed during COVID and what is the future of where you see your business going? Oh, so Dream in Color, uh, COVID-19, prevent a uh, COVID-19 didn't really prevent us from growing. What it did is give us a lot of opportunities to work on um, new solutions around COVID-19, like a COVID-19 tracking app. Mm -hmm. We're working on EMRs. Um, we're also working on more solutions that sort of pair with the uh, plugins for uh, large systems like Epic and Cerner, um, it, 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 it helped us, honestly. And it's one of the type of help that I wanna say like that I'm so proud to be able to help healthcare evolve mm -hmm. during the time when it's so important. Um, COVID-19 really just helped us kind of put ourselves on a mark where we can uh, help all of these innovators and large healthcare firms to kind of improve their digital solutions. No one was ready for COVID-19, right. not digitally either, either. So it's kind of been really nice to be able to help in that way. Yeah, oh, that's interesting. Yeah. So with, with the, you know, the, the journey that you've described of, of you know, tr transitioning from interior design to what you're doing now, how have you gone past fear and uncertainty of, of trying new things and just trying to figure out you know, what needs to be done at that time? And, and how, how did you push past that and able to, you know, do what you're doing now? Oh, well, I don't think you ever push past uh, the uncertainty. I feel like you get to a point where things are systematic. Um, I would never have thought that Dream and Color would thrive during COVID-19. Um, but I was, it was one of those things that happened and we're, we're very grateful for it, but there, it, it wasn't something that we prepared for. It's almost like I was in this industry that didn't know that I was there or that they needed me. And so the only thing that I would say to kind of push back the fear is make sure you have a good team, like a good team of people that care, that want to help. You're not going to know it all. So if you're uncertain, you can reach out to someone or hire accordingly to kind of avoid the, the fear and the anxiety around um, business development and growth. And um, yeah, that's, that's my advice for that. The fear still exists. That's yeah. <laughs> the uncertainty <laughs> is still there. You can systemize to alleviate the fear and, and, and uncertainty. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. So Amy, with everything you have done and experienced so far, what would you say has been the best advice that you ever received? Uh, the right next, take the right next step. That is, that is, I can't even remember where I heard that from, but it, it's what replays in my head anytime I get that, that butterfly feeling or the feeling of uncertainty mm -hmm. is to take the right next step. Stop thinking about all the ways it can fail or you can fall off a cliff or, or you know, how it cannot happen. But if you take the right, right next step, what do you need to do next? Then after that, what do you need to do 
after that, that actually helps. It really does. And it helps you to, to be able to kind of get that bird's eye view after you take that next step and say, you know what, this worked. And don't be able, don't be afraid of, fa- of, of failing mm-hmm. because that's, that's how you learn. Yeah. How do you prepare yourself for the right next step? Is it like, is there already a process you have set up or, or what do you do to make sure that you can take the next right step? Well, I have quite a few mentors in my pocket that I can throw terrible ideas at. And (laughs) (laughs) um, so, you know, really it's about getting some sort of mentorship, even if it's a friend in the industry. Um, That's the best way. That's the best way to help you through any of this. Business development is tough. Mm -hmm. So you need a few mentors. Yeah. Wonderful. Emmy, again, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me. Uh, I really appreciate it. If the listeners would like to see more about your work or follow you online, where are the best places they can go to do that? Awesome. Uh, you can definitely reach me at um, in, on LinkedIn and on Facebook, dreamingcolor.co. Um, my website is dreamingcolor.co as well. <laughs> And um, you can always send me a, a message on any one of those channels. And you can reach me on my email, which is amy.auten at dreamandcolor.co. Excellent. And I will uh, put the links and your email address in the show notes so people can make sure they know how to spell your last name and uh, click right through. So <laughs> wonderful, <laughs> Amy. Thank you so much again. I, I really appreciate it. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for listening to another episode of Advance Your Art with Yuri Cataldo. If you like this episode, please remember to give us a five-star rating, like, and share with a friend. Our theme music is written and mixed by Chicago-based composer Ryan Black of Black Bones Collaborative. To listen to the full catalog of our episodes, go to advanceyourart.com. To see what I'm working on or book a time with me or buy a copy of my book, Be Left Behind, go to yuricataldo.com. Thank you so much and have a great day.